Vulcan Forged is a bloody interesting project. They have really they're building the Vulcan verse. They're really starting to grow this into a really significant ecosystem. Overall, we're actually seeing a lot of development in terms of the games that are being produced. Gameplay wise as well, the network statistics and, and what I mean by that, sorry, is the website visits look really positive. There's a lot to like here. Again, boring price action. So let's talk about where potentially this can go this year. Before I get into it though, if you are new to the channel, uh, this spreadsheet shows the first 26 coins that I did videos about when I made this channel. In the videos as well, I showed myself buying these coins, the coins that I thought were gonna make a lot of profit. You can see what they were worth when I recorded the videos. You can see the highs that they hit in under a year and a half. And if you'd put $100 into each, these are what your profits would have been. So 100 into all, each of the 26 would have netted you a profit of over 123 grand, and that's in under a year and a half. Now the thing is, is you don't have a year and a half to sort your portfolios out. We're in a bull cycle. We've got big money printing this month. We've got rate cuts this month. We've got American elections coming up, which one way or another are gonna have big impacts on the market. If you're not happy with the coins that you own, then jump onto copymycrypto.com, have a look at what my members have earned, have a look at the successes we have had, read everything on the site, watch the videos, look at my members' testimonials. It's all public record. You can verify it on the history of this channel. Copymycrypto.com is where I share with my members the coins that I own. Whenever I buy or sell any crypto, I tell my members the crypto that I'm buying or selling and the price that I'm doing it at. And my members can copy along exactly. So there's no work for my members that make the same profit. And again, if you're not confident with the coins that you own, it really is time to do something about it because otherwise you're gonna end up watching everyone else making money in these markets while you don't. That is a shitty position for you to be in. So click the link, pause the vid and have a look. Now, Vulcan Forged. So, this is a blockchain game studio. They've got an NFT marketplace. They're the makers of the Vulcan Verse, And the Vulcan Verse is pretty goddamn extensive now. They've really added a lot to it. The, uh, the PYR token is the utility token that's used for fees for marketplace settlement. It's used for staking in Vulcanverse land and other assets. It's used for upgrading and sustaining game asset levels. It gives play to earn rewards. It is used for access to the game developers and NFT incubation programs as well. They have Vulcanverse, which is a Greco-Roman uh, fantasy metaverse made up of 10,000 plots of land. Anvil, which is a cryptoless and gas-free NFT engine for easy game and DAP onboarding. And you've got Vulcan Market, which is a gas-free NFT marketplace uh, for all Vulcan Forge games. You've got Berserk, which is an NFT online uh, game. You've got Frenzy, which is a create-your-own-tournament platform. They have added a lot. I've added a lot. There's going to be 50 million tokens. However, there's not going to be a huge dump. These tokens are small. They're small unlocks consistently. Um, so there isn't going to be like a huge dump on everyone's heads that's going to crash the market. The team consists of 30 core members spread across multiple countries. Uh, and the, it's led by CEO Jamie Thompson. Now... Vulcan Forge, by the way, uh, on every big exchange. It's on Binance, it's on Coinbase, so it isn't getting a listing balance. When you actually check out the, the uh, statistics, Vulcan Forge, Forged is being visited regularly, like very regularly, by uh, hundreds of thousands of people. So people are interested in the game. As you can see, you know, they've added with Vulcanverse, Berserk, Vulcan's Creed, Vulcan 11, I think that's 11, um, Tower Defense, Vulcan Runner. They are really trying to add to this and widen the scope of the ecosystem to really encourage people to participate and to play. They've also uh, work with on Elysium. So Elysium is the Elysium chain. Um, so this is their green, well, the green blockchain. It's for AI, metaverse, and games, effectively. Um, I actually do need to do more work, like more of a video on it, I assume. Uh, so you have tons of gaming challenges that they uh, kick off, and they last for around six months. If you win, 
you know, some decent rewards to, to earn. Again, you know, that's how you engage uh, a community. And they're going to continue to add to this overall ecosystem. Again, they've got the, uh, yeah. uh, they've got uh, their marketplaces as well, Agora Marketplace and Sedalian Marketplace, I hope I'm saying that right. And they do regularly have little bits of news updates. You know, this is the blog that they've got um, where they're just sharing recent news. So Elysium, Maeve, um, and the Vulcanverse updates available. That was last month. Conquer, Colossal Titans, Vulcanverse bosses arrive. So, you know, again, there's like an encouragement, right, for everyone to everyone that actually enjoys playing the game, getting regular updates about things that are happening, competitions that are happening. There's, you know, they're pushing for engagement. That's a really, really, really good thing. Um, yeah, that, I mean, for me, again, Vulcan 4 as well. So June, June 14th, the Brewerly London. Uh, so this was their, um, their sort of conference, Vulcan 4. Um, so it was the fourth annual event. It happened in London. Um, and yeah, 358 different attendees, 25 plus countries, uh, 12 key awards. You can see, you know, it was uh, at the brewery in London. Um, exclusive dinner at Gordon Ramsay's Bread Street as well, if you're a VIP. Uh, but yeah, again, you know, lots of engagement with this. The Jamie Thompson, again, uh, founder and CEO, doing a lot of the uh, talking, but you had uh, Anthony Scaramucci there, Jane Thompson, who's the author and creator of the Vulcan Forge Law. Um, yeah, again, really strong engagement. They are connecting with other projects regularly. Everything here looks pretty good. Again, it's except price. Now, this, in its first sort of bull cycle, it launched really just after the first crash of the 2021 cycle um, and did pretty well, you know, dropped from, you know, went down to lows of like $1.50 uh, and rallied all the way up to nearly 50 bucks, $49.74, pretty good. Thing is, is obviously there was a lot of supply back then as well. So it was a low market cap. Remember, it's supply times price gives you the market cap. Obviously, there's a lot more circulate uh, tokens circulating now. Um, it's unlikely that we're going to see it back at 50 bucks, in my opinion. Um, I think we're sort of looking at best case scenario, really, of around 30 bucks. Maybe it doesn't even hit that. Because the thing is, is you do have to bear in mind, we have um, a coin that is already on all the big exchanges. It isn't going to get a listing balance unless now there is one potential. There are no futures markets and there's not really much perpetual markets for Vulcan Forged. One thing that you do regularly see in the crypto space is when something is listed on Binance Futures, it has a big pump. So we could see, in theory, if Vulcan Forged if there's excitement back in Vulcan Forge, we could potentially see it have a big, big bounce from just being listed on the futures market. Um, and there's no reason to think that they might, that they wouldn't list on the futures market. I suppose the only thing with uh, exchanges like Binance is how much, you know, do they have capacity? Do they have a particular capacity for the amount of uh, markets that are, that are allowed? with regulations everywhere and stuff uh, that might hinder the listing of certain uh, of crypto projects. They're going to have to do it based on volume. If the volume right now is pretty weak, uh, but I do think, I still think there's potential here for this to, I, I think this can get back to 30 bucks. Um, I don't think it's going to get anywhere like to 50. Uh, but again, you know, maybe a futures listing, you know, listing on, because if Binance do it, everyone does it and then it's just pumps. Um, I think there is potential here for this to get back to 30, but it's again, it's engagement. And I think, I've said this before, and I keep kind of saying this, right? I don't get why crypto projects that are gaming crypto projects, why they don't advertise with massive 
YouTube gamers. Because yes, of course, look, crypto YouTubers can have an influence, but they more have an influence on price and potentially engage community engagement. What they don't have an impact on is like how many people are gonna play the bloody game. Whereas I've got a ton of mates that play games regularly and they watch particular gaming YouTubers. And when those gaming YouTubers talk about a new game, they've told me that they then go play those games. So if that's the case for my friends, why wouldn't it be the case for a lot of the audience of these guys? You know, you you nail down, I don't know, I mean, I don't really know crypto, like YouTube gamers, game, uh, Ninjas 1 that I'm familiar with. So maybe like you nail down Ninjas and you, and you get him or, you know, someone akin to him to advertise Vulcan Forged or to, to show himself playing one of the games. All of a sudden, you're going to have a percentage of his audience that come to Vulcan Forged and play. And all of a sudden, you've got a bigger user base that are earning, and then they're going to start engaging with more. It just seems so bloody obvious, and I don't see any crypto gaming projects doing it, and it blows my mind. I don't know who's in charge of marketing at the crypto gaming projects around, but I'm like, why aren't you going to a gaming YouTuber? It makes no sense to me. But if we see, if I saw that, I'd be like, this is going to pump huge, because that will get user base, and you, what follows a user base will be investment. It's that simple. We saw it with Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity had a huge surge in user base, and then the price action followed it. But, you know, let's see, maybe they'll listen, who knows? Or maybe they'll never see this video, who knows? <laughs> right, uh, but let me know what you guys think about this uh, project in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about what you would like, if you're a Vulcan Forged holder, what would you like to see from Vulcan Forged? Is there something you'd like to see them do that's going to, that would make you happy as a gamer? Share them in the comments. And guys, look, we're in a bull cycle. If you do not have the coins that you want in your portfolio, if you're just literally not confident at all about the coins that you own, do something about it because we're going to have a very strong bull cycle. Sooner or later, Things are going to kick on very well, whether it's through rate cuts, money printing, whether it's through the uh, election in America. Although if Kamala Harris wins, I think there's a, more of a likelihood of the market drop than, than if Trump wins. Um, either way, if you don't get your portfolio sorted before the markets start ripping, you're going to watch everyone else making money while you don't. If that's you and you're not confident in your coins, jump onto copymycrypto.com. There's a link in the description. Have a look at what my members have earned. Read their testimonials. Have a look at the successes we've had. Watch the videos. Every single thing on the site's public record. You can verify it all on the history of this channel. If you like what you see, then maybe you should try it out. Because no doubt we'll be able to help you before these markets start ripping. And that is it from me, guys. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next bit. Bye-bye.